Can we see down? No interruptions. Open dialogue without judging. Dope discussions. Dope discussions. Talking real raw. Ain't no cutting. Open dialogue without judging. Dope discussions. Drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> you all. Let's just say that you have real women from all over the globe highly upset about men raising the bar and raising their standards and making women have to qualify to be a part of their lives, especially if you want that man to provide for you, protect you, take care of you, lead you, guide you. Men are now saying, look, you're going to have to come correct, all right? Give respect, all right? Before I give you any ounce of my love, energy, or my check bars. Now, I know y'all are sitting there like, what do you mean? Women from all over the globe, you know, you know, we're going overseas and those women are much better. And, you know, what are you talking about? Well, sorry to break the news to your brothers, but. There's a lot of women that are from other countries, right? That are heavily influenced, unfortunately, by um, the Western, right? The Western modern day women, okay? They are clicking up, joining forces and getting in cahoots with these women. I'm sorry, with these real women. And they are trying to essentially form a team against you. Yes. Even the women from different countries. Yes. Even the women that y'all are packing up to get y'all passports and going to. Even some of those women, okay, are haters. And some of those women are trying to shame and condemn you men for, I don't know, requiring women to bring things to the table, the whole nine, all right? This is why I always make it a point of mine to say that, fellas, do not think that because you're going to another country or because you're going overseas that you're safe. You have to make sure that you are thoroughly investigating and inspecting every woman on an individual basis because you never know who she's being indoctrinated by, who she's being influenced by, who she's looking up to, what she's up to. You got to inspect everybody individually because I'm going to tell y'all right now, it's real in the field, baby. The drizzle drizzle, right? has a lot of these women drowning and they cannot take it. And so what they're trying to do is throw salt in your game so that they can stop you 
from, I don't know, exploring things that are maybe potentially better for you or ultimately, honestly, I think the, the big thing that they're trying to do is discourage you all from having these set standards so that you can just accept and tolerate whatever it is that they want to dish your way. I think that's really what it is. Um, but nonetheless, this is happening, right? Instead of encouraging other women to step their games up and do better so they can qualify for the men that they ask for and they demand, right? A lot of these women, and again, globally, all over the world, different cultures, different backgrounds, the whole nine, races, skin, complexions, the you name it. Instead of stepping their game up, what they're trying to do is say, no, we're not the problem. The men are the issue. Fellas, y'all need to just stop all this leveling up, quote unquote, that y'all are doing. Because I keep telling y'all, a lot of the things that women try to make their own and uh, trying to come up with, a lot of the men took it and ran with it, right? So when it comes to leveling up, y'all doing that better than us. When it comes to um, having your standards, doing that better than us when it comes to the drizzle drizzle versus the sprinkle sprinkle disciples doing that better than us you name it all across the board y'all are just dominating and a lot of these females cannot handle that and so what they're trying to do is ridicule you all into submission ridicule y'all into just toleration look let me in stop all this craziness you ain't never had no standards before why you start now Y'all know if you go to these other countries that those women are going to be a lot worse. So what are y'all really doing? Came across this video right here, you all. And y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. We can't hit 300. I'm going to ask for 200 first. Amen? I got to go here with the conversation. Although this is a global issue when it comes to dealing with real women, which is why, again, a lot of you men have to be careful wherever you go. I have to be honest and real enough to say that the women that do travel to America from different countries, a lot of them were coming here in hopes of getting a certain type of lifestyle, a certain type of man, the whole nine. And I see y'all donations. Give me a second. I got to get this off first. And so if y'all think that those women that have traveled here from Africa or the Philippines or whatever, if you think those women um, did not come here to also partake in snatching up a uh, man that is of means, of wealth, status, the whole nine. If y'all think that those women are also like not hating on the fact that y'all going to their countries or that y'all going to other places when they have traveled far and wide to come here to get your ass. Oh, they're really going to be mad. Let's paint the picture. Okay. And again, hit that like button for me, y'all. This is some real talk. I know it's Saturday. This is impromptu, but we're here, y'all. And I appreciate y'all so very much for being here because you don't have to be. Okay. Let's paint the picture. A lot of men here in America, y'all are sick and tired of dealing with bottom of the barrel females that are entitled, selfish, narcissistic, delusional confused y'all are sick and, and tired of dealing with that are there still great women here yes but it's too few for y'all to stick around to try to search through the, all the damn trash to find them so a lot of y'all are either one packing up going overseas two just staying by yourself or three, y'all are having a roster or a rotation of females to deal with because you're not able to find all that you're looking for in one, okay? That is going on. And I would say the bulk of you all, outside of going overseas, the bulk of y'all are just like kind of checked out and done with it. And now y'all are in y'all trolling bag. 
to where it's like, oh yeah, you know, I ain't dealing with these hoes anyway. So let me just troll that troll their ass back. You know, it is what it is. But you do have a lot of guys that are like, yeah, I'm going overseas to find my wife. A lot of the men that are still uh heavily in the notion of uh having a family and settling down and getting married and living happily ever after, a lot of those guys are the men that are going overseas, right? And so what we're seeing is women from different countries scope out the scene over here and they're looking at the men and let's be clear you all a lot of the american men you are are going to be able to give a woman the best experience what do i mean by that what i mean by that is this you all american men are going to be the most accepting if you will of women having their own voice and women having their own rights and you know women being treated like um human beings versus property not only are you all going to be better with how you treat the women but you're also going to be able to offer the women a lot more than the men in their own countries you're going to make more money you know the dollar is going to stretch a lot further so a lot of those women they want you Right. That's why you you all have no problem with going overseas and finding women that don't mind submiss to uh, submitting to you and, you know, catering to you and honoring you and respecting you and all that. Y'all have no problem with doing that because they see your value. They see your worth and they want in on it. You know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, you all are the ideal men. So. You are the ideal man. A lot, a lot of people would argue that America is the land of opportunities. So some women from those different countries are like, oh, well, let me go to America, right? Let me go and find me, my husband, because they're going to treat me better. They're going to be more financially stable. And we already know it's in our nature as women to look for stability and security, right? And so, yeah, you're getting all that you're seeking right here, which is why women from different cultures and countries are coming here. I'm going to find my husband. I'm going to be able to have, you know, different opportunities, better opportunities for myself, and I'm going to thrive better over there. And so they're coming here and search for husbands, but then they're finding out that the men that are open to being husbands are going overseas. They're going where they came from. And so those women that traveled here are kind of like in the pickle because it's like, damn, well, I came all the way over here to find a husband, but all the men that are here are not even trying to get married, let alone date. So what they're trying to do when they come over here is discourage you all from going to their, their countries because after all, nigga, I came all the way this, I came all the way out here to find you so you can find me and then we can build. But you're going overseas, like, hold on. Let, let me discourage y'all from going overseas and stay right here where I am, where I've traveled so far to. Yeah, stay right here. And let me tell y'all, look, if you go overseas to my country, um, you know, those women, they're worse. And so you, you should stay here because after all, I came so far to find you. And so why would you leave? Let's also go here. And it's no shade. I got to be real, though. And we can't hit 400. I'm going to ask for 300 on them likes. And I appreciate y'all. A lot of those women, though, that have traveled here from overseas in different countries, a lot of those women, and I hate to go here, but I got to be real. A lot of those women um, were in search of living the same type of lifestyle that the Americanized, Westernized women were living. So just to be honest with you all, and I hate to do this, but I got to be real. Just to be honest with you all, a lot of men have peeped the game on that element also. And they're realizing that the women that are going to be more culturally grounded, they're, they're going to be the ones that are more likely to stay in their own country, if that makes any sense. I hope y'all are following with that. So for example, if you are a woman that is from Africa and you're coming over here to America and all of that, you're more than likely going to be that African woman that is trying to live the modern day real women's lifestyle. 
you're not going to be the traditionally cultured African woman. You know what I mean? And so I think that that is something that a lot of men are peeping game on. I don't want a woman that wants to go to America. You know, now if I go to where you are and then I decide to bring you back on my own terms, that's different. But for you to be a woman saving up all your money and you want to come to America, and I, uh, more than likely she's going to be the type of woman that is in search of living the same type of strong, independent boss bitch lifestyle that she sees American women live, right? So it's so many different things at work at the same time. And like I'm saying, you all, it's getting real in the field because a lot of you guys are, you know, raising the bar, raising your standards, and you're looking for a certain type of woman to give a certain type of lifestyle too. Yes, men don't mind paying the bills. Men don't mind working hard and taking care of families. Men don't mind even splurging on a woman. No, they don't mind. The issue that the men are running into, especially here, is finding a woman that is deserving of that. That's the issue, ladies. It's not an issue of, oh, yeah, I can't afford to, to take care of a woman and I can't afford to do this, this, that, and the third. And, you know, I don't want to because I'm a, I'm a boss. I'm a boss man. No, the, the men are not in that energy. They're trolling you with that energy to make you see your shortcomings and your flaws and faults. But men understand their role. The issue is a lot of the women don't. And so a lot of the men are like, look, I'll be damned if I'm busting my ass and I'm working so hard to provide for a woman who is just taken from me, not appreciating anything, not pouring back into me, not even being uh, kind to me, respectful to me. Like y'all are not even doing the basic things for these men. Yet you want them to give you the world. The men are like, no, I'm not doing that. You know, and so, yeah, this is why you're seeing those men go to different countries and they are taking care of that woman, taking care of her family, you know, marrying her, settling down, starting families like they're doing all of those things. And, the, and they're playing that role that a lot of women here are complaining about them not doing, but they're not doing it because you're not what they're looking for. You don't qualify. And that's the issue, ma'am. It was never an issue of providing and protecting. Men got that covered. It's in their nature. They want to do that. Men feel the most fulfilled when they are doing those things. So this is why they're so salty. They're so salty because they're looking around like, damn, like, hold on. Like, these men over here complaining about providing and protecting, but then you want to go overseas and provide and protect with those women? Yeah, because those women are giving them what they're looking for in a woman you're not so y'all are out here calling these men broke and dusty and that's why they don't want to provide and protect when in all actuality they don't want to provide and protect for you because ma'am you are broke down and you have a dusty attitude come on you all that's all if the if the bulk of women here were in that whole submissive bag in that whole loving, nurturing, caring back, a lot of men would have no problem. Y'all would not have to do shit as far as complain about men don't do this and men don't do that. No, men do for women that are deserving. The issue is you are not deserving and that's the part that y'all missing out on. Just being real, be mad at your mama. I hope y'all following me, drizzle, drizzle. But that's the issue, right? And so now you have these foreign women come in here and let's be honest you all a lot of the women that are foreigners that are coming here they are coming here for a specific purpose i want to be a strong independent boss bitch like how i see a lot of these uh american women are right and i want to be able to live the best of both worlds by having a man to wine and dine me take care of me and all of that but they find out the hard way that you cannot be both you cannot be a strong, independent, disrespectful, boss bitch, I don't need no man type of woman, but then you want to provide her mail. It does not work. It clashes. Water and oil, baby. 
And so now here they are coming through like, oh, while y'all are going overseas, I hope y'all know my country is worse because those women, they require this and they require that and their families, you have to buy those women and you got to do this. You got to build a house for those women in order to get married. Ma'am, again, the issue was never, ever, ever, ever providing. The issue was never, ever, ever, ever protecting. Men got that covered. Grown, masculine men, productive men, they do that in their sleep, honey. That's not the issue. The issue is finding worthy enough women to do those things for. Let me get to y'all super chats and then we're going to play this video. Because like I'm saying, they real mad. Thank you so much, Game Changer. It says, uh, Trash D is how they find out the hard way. So, Game Changer says, look, when it comes to these hoes, don't take them serious. Just get them that, that trash, hard peen and, and send them back to the streets. That's how Game Changers, uh, that's how he handles these hoes, okay? <laughs> Lord have mercy. Deadly Raver, thank you so much. It says, hello again. Based upon what happened yesterday, I'd like to request sell C-143. <laughs> you know my usual. I already know what's coming, so let me get it before someone else does. Thank you. Oh, say less, baby. And we can't hit 500. I'm going to need 400 first, y'all. Like the video. Show the video. Answer. Yes. And subscribe. Um... I need you all to get cell C-143X ready for me, please. I have a deadly raver that is um, with a special request for that. Oh, that's fine. He he doesn't mind. Okay, thank you so very much. Over. Say less, deadly raver. We getting it ready for you right now, baby. Don't worry. We got it. We got you covered. Amen? Drizzle, drizzle. Thank you, DB. It says, guys, don't fall the, for the trap of foreign women coming to America. As soon as they get here, they will drink the Kool-Aid of feminism no better than GMOs. Whoopsie. And look, I'm just peeping the game. Hold on, y'all. It's hot as hell. Let me um turn on my fan. Hold on. Okay. I got all these damn lights. It, it get hot. Um, and, and that's the game that I also peeped, D DB. The game that I peeped was a lot of the women that travel here from overseas, they're looking to embark on the same lifestyle that a lot of these Americanized, Westernized women, you know, live. So it, I think men also peep game on that as well, which is why they kind of steer clear from those women too. But y'all correct me if I'm wrong. That's just me observing. I don't know. I'm not a man and I'm not dealing with foreign women and all that. So y'all can let me know if that's true or not. But that's just what I see, especially when it comes to videos like I'm getting ready to play for y'all. Um, Let me see. Let me see. I'm still scrolling. Thank you, DB, again. It says, LOL, Danica, what you talking about is the death of alpha male. No more leveling up for women. It's just for us men whoopsie drizzle drizzle y'all stealing everything fellas can i can i tell y'all this y'all are stealing everything from these women and y'all are doing it better oh that's because they feminine why y'all gotta do what we doing because they're trolling you and teaching you lessons in the process shut up them i says unless i'm at work being paid to fix a problem i really don't care what these western women want unless she acts from a place of respect drizzle drizzle hmm. drizzle drizzle says <laughs> not your name drizzle drizzle <laughs> yeah plan man it says we need the most educated to start paying these bills <laughs> and they need to have two or three jobs to find my lifestyle drizzle drizzle lord have mercy please y'all clowning already y'all clowning y'all clowning <laughs> DB again says, let the women say whatever the fuck they want. The one flaw they have in their plan is men don't give a shit about what they think anymore. Whoopsie. Drizzle, drizzle. Game changer again says, BBB, 
be a better bitch. <laughs> okay, y'all. Hold on. Let me hold on. Yes, get about I would say 25 cells ready. That should suffice. Okay, thank you. Over. Right. And Deadly Raver, your cell is ready. So go ahead and um make your exit. Okay. You can watch from your cell. All right. Now let's get into this, you all. Because all the way around, a lot of these women are upset that you all are looking for quality women to splurge on, to take care of, to settle down with. You know, yeah, they're mad about it. They're mad about it, especially if they have traveled from other places to come here to not only embark on the whole city girl, hot girl lifestyle and culture, but to also snatch you up as a husband and have you take care of them. Like, boy, where you going? I came over, I came over here for you. And I want to be a city girl. I want to be a city girl and a wife, bitch. So where are you going? You going back to my country. Uh, it's going to be worse in my country. All the way around, the women are salty. If they are in America, they mad as hell. Period. Let's get into this, you all. Put a two in the chat if you can hear this. I saw a video today on TikTok. Could y'all hear that? She said, I saw a video today on TikTok. Put a two in the chat if y'all can hear that. <laughs> then my says, drizzle, drizzle for shizzle. Lord have mercy. Okay, I see the two. Let's get into it. I saw a video today on TikTok of this young man, African American, saying how he wants to go to Africa to find a wife. And he said all this after watching Tyler, a beautiful sister from South Africa. And he's like, you know what? That's it. We just need to go to Africa to find wives. <laughs> <laughs> Audacity. <laughs> anyway. Me being African, I was raised in Africa and I was also raised in the United States. So I have experience from both continents, okay? And let me tell you something. <laughs> if you are an American man who thinks that going outside of the United States is where you will find a good woman, a good wife, because American women ask for too much. The ladies out here, men, they're just materialistic. They're da -da 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 -da. Let me tell you something. It is worse. It is 1,000 times worse than what you think back home in Africa, at least for the country that I was raised in and the culture that I was raised in. Because here's the thing, African women, African young girls, we are raised to literally know that the man is the provider. In fact, a lot of African women don't even go to work. Their men are the ones who go to work and just bring the money home for the wife to budget. And if you think, the women here in America are asking for too much. In fact, go to Africa. No, go get married. Because the way African young girls are raised, we are raised with so much knowledge about family, uh, friendship, how to deal with lives. So when families in Africa see that their daughters have gone through so much learning and they have become uh, knowledgeable of life and marriage and all those things, they know the value of their daughters. Mm -hmm. And they say, you know what? Any man cannot come and marry our daughter for free. He has to pay a dowry. And that's why majority of African cultures, before a man goes to take the daughter to marry a woman, he has to pay the family uh, a dowry, an appreciation. And dowry can go from money to mm -hmm. cows and goats mm -hmm. to even building the girl's family a house yes and it's all to show appreciation to the family of the girl that thank you so much for raising such a beautiful and wonderful woman who's gonna be the mother of my kids i gotta i gotta pause her and we can hit 600 i'm gonna need 500 we can't hit 500 y'all i don't think that she understands that she's proven the men's point even with her trying to come through like, oh, so y'all think because you going to, to Africa or you going to these different countries to find a wife that they not going to require this and they not. Re Sweetheart, you're proving the point. That was never the, the problem. You even just said 
that the African women are raised. Hear you out, ma'am, and hear me out too. You said that African women are raised to know what family structure is, what that looks like, what she's supposed to do. She has the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding to know the roles. Amen. So essentially, if the men were to go to your country, right, in Africa, they would get a better bang for their buck. Again, ma'am, the issue was never providing. The issue was never protecting. The issue was never building. The issue was the quality of woman that you are doing said things for. So even with you trying to explain and break it down how these men are so stupid for thinking that if they go overseas to find a wife, that it's still going to be the same requirements. The joke is still on you. Men know their roles. Men know what they're supposed to do. But they're not going to do those things for piss poor quality women. So yeah, they'll get your damn cows, ma'am. And and can I go here and it's no shade. I do not mean to be disrespectful when I say this. I'm just being honest. Ma'am, I guarantee you if those men that are going overseas to seek wives were required to pay diaries or whatever the case may have been, whether that been cows or build a house or give money, I guarantee you, and it's no shade, I do not mean to be disrespectful. I guarantee you that the price, right, a purchase would be so significantly low that it would be nothing to get your damn cow. You know, it would be nothing to build you a house because the dollar stretches farther in different places. So, ma'am, this is not the, you, you didn't eat how you thought you ate. This is not the flex you thought it was. You know what I'm saying? So she's making it seem like, oh, you think that American women are asked for too much. But if you go to Africa, if you go here and go there and go there and go here, they're going to require so much more. But is it so much more when you're getting a better woman that's going to do so much more for you in the process? Is it really so much more when the value is not going to be as high as it is here? For example, ma'am, and it's no shame. I'm just being honest. And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. For example, ma'am, you're like, oh, you know, y'all think it's so, so bad here with the women wanting things. Well, if you go overseas and you go to these different countries, well, you're going to have to buy the cow. You're going to have to build the house. You're going to have to pay the money. And let's say the cost of doing those things equates to, I don't know, $300? A thousand? Okay. And you're going to get a great woman. So, okay, I I'll pay $1,000. <laughs> All right. I'll pay $1,000 and then I'll have the woman in my dreams and we can live happily ever after. I can have a good time with my life and live good for the rest of my life. That's fine. $1,000, no sweat off my damn brow. But here in America, to build a house get a cow, pay the money and all of that, that $1,000, it may cost you, I don't know, 500000 a million, a million, a million, a million. And on top of that, you're not even going to get the best quality of woman. So ma'am, on all fronts, this just was not the flex. It just was not the meal that you thought you ate, it wasn't, you know, I think you need to go and reevaluate. Cause she really did thought, she thought she ate y'all. She's like, ah, honey, if you go to Africa, oh, you gotta build us a house for $20.
And it's no shame. I'm just being silly. You gotta buy the cow for ten dollars. <laughs> okay. Uh, you gotta get a the the money, a hundred dollars. Like, okay. And it's no shame. I'm just being real. And again, the providing element and aspect of the conversation was never the issue. Men have no problem with being masculine men and providing. They don't have a problem with it, but they do have a problem with the quality of the woman. They do have a problem with the return on the investment. It, I have to get a good return on that investment. That's the issue, ma'ams. That's the issue, ma'ams. Hold on. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you, Carl, for your $5 cash app. It says she looks like a goat in the face. Let's be nice. Don't get locked up. Okay. Carl sent me two uh, cash outs. He sent another one that says drizzle, drizzle disciples. Lord have mercy. Okay. Y'all playing way too much. Way too much. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Y'all playing too much. <laughs> Let's be nice now. I'm just, I'm not here to ridicule and shame this woman. I'm just here to break it down bit by bit and, and, and show her how ridiculous she sounds. Look, step your game up. The problem is not providing. The problem is y'all are not worth providing for. Step your game up. Because if you don't, the men will leave. Drizzle, drizzle. One main 24 TV says she is lying. I am Ghana and women always respect are always respectful. They cook, clean, take care of home. They are so polite over there. We know, but she, and she knows that, right? She knows that too, which is why she's saying that in the video, which to me proves the point. She's proven the point in the video. She's saying, yeah, those women, they, they are raised, you know, to understand this and understand that. And they know family and they know, duh, that's the whole reason why the men are going over there. And they don't mind providing for them because they know that they're going to get the woman that they are looking for. That's the whole thing. Thank you, uh, Dim Eyes. It says, um, she is raised conservative to be a helpmate, not a headache. Morals, values, family, security. She is just proving us right. Drizzle, drizzle. I'm telling you. But we're going to let her continue. Okay, let me make sure I got everybody. Um, Gangster says, are there poor married women in Africa? <laughs> Whoopsie. Drizzle, drizzle. Hmm. Thank you, Nia Fight. It says, um, we need these self-crowned, self-endowed queen goddesses to consistently show up in their strong but still soft feminine. Only then will us men feel comfortable uh, setting into our masculine spirit. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Y'all playing too much. Let me make sure I got everybody at the top. Hold on, y'all. We will get the police cars. If y'all clown too much, please. We will. Okay. Hold on. Okay, I got that. Go to the bottom. Who is this? Superior. Hold on. Let me let me see if I can get you. And y'all, six hundred, but we need five hundred first. Thank you, uh, Tokyo. It says, "Let's be real. Foreign women fly here for feminism, and that's that's the game I peeped." Any woman that is foreign that is coming here, nine times out of ten, she's coming here because she wants to be a city girl. Okay. Game Hunter again says, in America, the dowry is paid after the marriage, alimony, child support, etc. Oh, whoopsie. Hmm. Superior, thank you so much. It says, I'm going to witness a hot girl summer in Brazil this year. <laughs> My puzzle exterior what the hell he said i can't wait drizzle drizzle my nizzle now here y'all go here y'all go clowning lord have mercy okay let's let her finish y'all she 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 thinks she eating and going off yeah because y'all know what y'all talking about you think going overseas those women ain't gonna be worse they require more do they and if they do they probably deserve that shit because what they're gonna offer in exchange it's going to balance out. That's the part they're missing, Superior. But drizzle, drizzle, my nizzle. Let's continue. Take it back a little bit. 
dedication to the family of the girl that thank you so much for raising such a beautiful and wonderful woman who's gonna be the mother of my kids. So, <laughs> the system works differently. The United States, after living here for almost 10 years, I've realized that here, men just take for free. Yeah. <laughs> and I know this might be um, triggering and or insulting some people, but it's the truth. Men in the United States are used to taking things for free, especially from women. They expect, well, I'm just gonna go date her, have sex with her here and there and use her and then we'll just, we'll just be in a relationship. It does not work like that in Africa. Ma'am, oh, she getting on my nerves. What do you think the women here are doing though? She's so damn, she, she, she lost y'all. She lost. She is officially a part of the sisterhood, African and all. It don't matter. The women here want everything for free. To be honest, you all, and I, and I know y'all hate my guts. Oh, you just have picked me. Ow, ow, ow. Hear me out, y'all. I gotta be real. I'm a woman. I'm behind the scenes. I see y'all up close and personal. The men are only matching energy. The men are only meeting y'all where y'all are at. The men are trolling y'all back. The whole nine. The women are coming through Miss Africa. And they're like, look, because I am a woman, I deserve X, Y, and Z and one, two, and three. Take me to the most expensive restaurants on the most expensive dates even though you don't know me even though i don't know you even though this is a, a trial to see you know what i can get out of you yeah do all that for me and then maybe i'll think about dating you and taking you seriously what do you think the women are doing the women are like look you need to spend at least a thousand dollars on me for the first day yeah, I don't really care about getting to know you like that. I just need the aesthetic for Instagram. Like, man, like, this is what they're dealing with. This is what men are dealing with. So you're coming through like, oh, y'all y'all want everything for free. What I've noticed is the American men, they want everything for free. What do you think the women are doing? The, the reason why, let me, let me break it down for her. The reason why the men are like, look, I'm going to need this from you, that from you, this from you, and that from you is because the women are the ones coming through with their hand out first. And so the men are like, look, yeah, you want me to do all of that? Well, in exchange for that, I'm going to need this, that, and the third. You want me to wine and dine you, cash out on you, and don't even know your ass? Oh, okay. Bet. Well, this is what I'm going to need. That's all that's happening. The men are matching energy. I don't know you like that to be going to your house after this. I don't know you like that for you to be hugging me and all up on me. I don't know you like that. But yet, this man is supposed to know you like that to spend all his damn money on you. Take care of you and your kids. Pay for your babysitter. He don't know you like that. But he's supposed to do that, though. Come on, y'all. Please, please stop. It's getting irritating at this point. It's getting real irritating. Hold on, let's continue. It is worse. You cannot take someone's daughter for free like that. You have to impress her and the family, most importantly. And in some cultures, like my own, if you have not proven yourself as a man that you have the resources to take care of someone's daughter, guess what? Even the family has the right to take you to court, to police, and say, we brought this man. What the hell happened? Oh, dang, y'all. Hold on. I got to re airdrop it. It ain't going to play right. Hold on. So she's saying, like, look, if you go to these different places, you're going to really have to show and prove your worth and show and prove your value because, you know, these, these women over here, they come from families that understand what the roles are. And again, ma'am, you're proving the point. The men know that already. That's why they're over there. They don't mind paying up if they're going to get a good return on the investment. That's the whole problem, baby. 
So this whole spill that she's doing, it's just, it, it's sounding ridiculous. Oh, yeah, it, 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 and if you just steal somebody's wo woman or, or daughter and make her your wife, that don't even make sense. A man cannot steal a woman that don't want to be took. Can we go there first? Hold on, let me airdrop this. Uh, and we can hit 700 y'all y'all give up we gotta hit 600 first though but we should at least have 525 likes is this the right one damn that's not it okay hold on y'all why is it not playing oh i think this one is it okay yeah that's it all right y'all let's let's start it back where she was with her gaslighting ass. Uh... Right. Game changer. So if she elope, the fam look, if, if your daughter want to be took, then she going to get, like, it's a go. It's not like the men are coming through to these different uh countries like, yeah, give me your daughter. No, she want to go. So let's not do too much. Hold on. Bobby says um, she don't get headaches. She get head quakes. Stop with her forehead. Ain't nothing wrong with her forehead. It's a beautiful black forehead. Okay, we're not going to do too much. Right? Some of y'all mamas got that same forehead, so let's not do too much. Hold on, y'all. Let me, let me share my screen. Uh, present. Okay, I got it. Now I gotta find where she was at. Let me blow it up. Money to cows and goats to even building the girl's family a house. Yes, and it's all to show appreciation to the family of the girl that thank you so much for raising such a beautiful and wonderful woman who's gonna be the mother of my kids. Emphasis on raising such a beautiful and wonderful woman. The issue is a lot of the women here, unfortunately, are not beautiful and wonderful women. So why should I, as a man, provide and protect and lead and teach and take care of a woman that is not a beautiful and wonderful woman? So <laughs> the system works differently. The United States, after living here for almost 10 years, I've realized that here men just take for free. <laughs> yeah. And I know this again. Okay, hold on. Who is this? Uh oh, MVP Charles. Y'all dropped the crowns for MVP Charles. He says, looking good. My top three recently watched videos. Cooking time, lasagna. Uh Ben, thank you for your money. <laughs> Women are mad they cannot control men. Larsa. And it says, keep up the good work. And then he drops the Patreon. Y'all go and sign up for my Patreon and big shout out to MVP. Charles, okay, he knows all of the damn dope discussions, whether it's for members only, Patreon, you name it, okay? Salute to uh to Charles. Now, I wanted to break down what she just said. She said, when she said, men here in America, they just want to take for free. I know they just they just take for free. That goes back to what I said earlier. A woman can only be took if she wants to be took. And y'all know what we're trying to say, okay? I'm not saying grape is okay. I'm not saying grape is a woman's fault. Please don't start reaching and gaslighting me like that. What I'm saying is, if a man shows up into a woman's life, right? And she's willingly, consensually giving him things, Doing things for him that maybe she feels like he does not deserve. Whose fault is that? See, y'all piss me off with that. Y'all do not hold the women accountable for their part in anything. It's always what well, the man did it. No, 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 no. We're grown ass women. Same thing what she said earlier, talking about, oh, you know, if you go and you take somebody's daughter, the family will just hunt you down. 
How you gonna hunt me down when your, your daughter wanted me though? She the one chose up. You gonna hunt me down because your daughter wanted to drizzle, drizzle? That ain't my fault. So it's the same thing, ma'am. You're coming through like, oh, you know, you know, these men here in America, they just take for free. Look, I ain't taking shit that's given to me for free. If she giving it to me for free, I mean, what I'm supposed to do? So it's so many different levels and layers to this conversation. And I feel like, like, like I'm saying, I do feel like she's gaslighting a whole lot. I feel like she's leaving out details. I feel like she's not being genuine and sincere and she's looking for brownie points with the sisterhood. That's what it's given. Who is this? Uh, thank you, Kevin, for your uh, cash out. Did it say anything? No. Okay. So all the way around, I just, I don't like what she's doing. She's making it seem like women are just these stupid, docile creatures that don't know anything and don't know any better. And the men are just taking advantage. No, it's quite frankly, the other way around, to be honest. You know, it's the women out here trying to take advantage of the men, treat the men like they're just stupid, docile creatures and don't know anything. That's what's going on. So let's not do too much. Uh oh, who is this? Shout out to Nubian Pharaoh. Okay, y'all drop the 100s, the salutes, the crowns, the gems, and the jewels, not only for MVP Charles, but also for uh, Nubian Pharaoh. Okay, hold on. Y'all y'all coming through, showing up, and showing out today. Um, but thank you so much, Charles. And y'all go and sign up for my Patreon. It's super dope. It's lit over there. I mean, Charles just paid me $50 to tell y'all how dope the content over on Patreon is. So come on, y'all. That means it, it got to be hidden. All right? It got to be hidden. All right? But thank you so much, Charles. Thank you, John. It says you can't lose someone who knows who they emotionally belong to. Mm? Whoopsie. Deli Raver says, hey, yo, I got a question. How is her head that big and she ain't got a drop of knowledge in it? All that mouth, but she only dissing herself. Hold on. How are you talking for free outside of the damn jail calls? That's what I want to know. Hold on. Yes. Um, can we come and collect a Deadly Raver, please? Did we already collect him or not? If you already have him in custody, that's fine. I just need you to transfer him to the cell. The hole, I'm sorry, not, not the cell. Um, Get him about 15 minutes in the dark. No, no, no bread, no beverage, no food, no light, no. Absolutely not. I know it's rats in there. That's fine. Okay, thank you so much. Over. Can't believe you did that. I cannot believe you did that. And thought she was going to walk, walk free? Oh, oh, no, he didn't. Now, I told you that would be nice. We we focus on talking points, not on big foreheads. Bobby, you going to be next. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Hold on. Let me see. <laughs> Y'all ain't shit, man. <laughs> <sighs> we can't hit 600 y'all hold on tokyo says do these wires come with an act right warranty <laughs> Lord have mercy. and big shout out to nubian uh pharaoh it says london listening shout out to london shout out to london with all this beautiful love okay do they have a London emoji? Drop the London emoji. I'm I'm sure they got something for London. I don't know the fuck. But thank you so much, uh, Nubian Pharaoh. Them I says all that head and no common sense. Y'all ain't shit. Okay, okay. Let's take a pause. I need everybody to calm down. Are we good now? Let's continue. This might be um, triggering and or insulting some people, but it's the truth. Men in the United States are used to taking things for free, especially from women. If she giving it up for free, 
that's not his fault. Is it? I mean, it's always going to be levels when it's a conversation. Is that a man's fault that these bitches ain't got no standard for themselves? They expect, well, I'm just going to go date her, have sex with her here and there and use her. And then we'll just, we'll just be in a relationship. What do you think the women are doing? Oh, I'm just using for his money and using for his time and his resources. And, you know, I'll just date around and, you know, deal with different penises and different guys. You know, I'll get all the money from all of them, you know, do it like that, you know, and see which ones I, I like and I don't like. It's giving matching energy, but continue, go off sis. It does not work like that in Africa. It is worse. You cannot take someone's daughter for free like that. You have to impress her and the family most importantly. And in some cultures like my own, if you have not proven yourself as a man that you have the resources to take care of someone's daughter, guess what? Even the family has the right to take you to court to police and say, we brought this man, he wants to take our daughter for free. Or if you've already taken the daughter without paying the family a dowry, they can say he stole our daughter from us <laughs> without any appreciation. And guess who is going to win the case? The family of the girl. Are you sure? Or does money talk? Like I'm saying, y'all, it's always levels and layers of the conversation. If uh, if an American guy goes overseas and goes to another country and finds him a wife and she chooses up on him and they go off into the sunset and live happily ever after. And then the, the family is like, hold on. He didn't pay us no money. I know he got a whole bunch of money. Let's take him to court because our daughter decided as a grown ass woman that she wanted to go off and marry him. Let's sue him. Okay, let's say the family does that and they sue the man for stealing their daughter that willingly went with him. Okay. Um, I'm going to assume that, again, the dollar maybe is worth more and stretches farther and longer in those different countries. And so I would guarantee you that it may not be so cut and dry as far as, yeah, the family wins. I don't know. Do they have the, the money and the resources to fight said man? Um, will the money that the man has talk a little louder than, you know, the family's complaints? We don't know. You know? And so what I'm trying to say is, ma'am, you you putting a lot of sauce on this pizza. Okay? You're doing too much. And I think that you are over-exaggerating just for the sake of you know, trying to get your sprinkle, sprinkle uh, brownie points. You know, you, you want sprinkles on your brownies. And I get it, ma'am. But at the end of the day, you cannot shame and ridicule these men into dealing with piss poor quality women. You cannot shame these men into not exploring different options. Okay, that they're, they're going to do that. So, I don't know. I think she's just doing too much. Y'all let me know. Let's continue. So, to any American man or any man worldwide who wants to marry a woman in Africa, use your common sense. You have yeah. to be very, very uh, strong in your masculinity to know that I do not expect my wife to work if she doesn't want to. She can or she cannot. My position as the man in her life will not change whether she works or not. My position is to provide for her. So my brother, you want to go to Africa to find a wife because they are more, they are much more nicer, they're much more, let me tell you, they come with the most uh, costly, how do I say this? And this is not like a, a selling your daughter type of thing, no. The families are not exchanging their children for money and possessions, no. It's but that's what you're saying. She's trying so hard to shame men that she does not know that she is casting shame up upon her whole family, her whole culture, her whole country. You're making it seem like they're ex trafficking their daughters. That that's what it's given. Like, oh no, you can't get this, you can't get this good pussy for free. That's what it's giving, man. 
And I'm not saying that, you know, they're selling their dark. That's what you just said. You just said that they're offering their daughters for cows, houses, and money. Like, I mean, come on now. That's what it's giving you. I, I read this. I, I read this good. This good stock right here. So, yeah, you got to. I need a cow for that. You know, you can't get this good pussy for free now. It's that good version pussy, you know. She she know how to cook and clean. I, I'm gonna need a house for that. That's what it's giving, man. And then she goes on to say, you know, yeah, you know, you don't require your woman to work. They don't work in Africa. <sighs> Providing was never the issue. I repeat, providing, protecting, and taking care of a woman was never the issue. The issue was the quality of the woman that you're doing said things for. In addition to that, ma'am, you're sleeping on the fact that in those other countries, right, that would be nothing for an American man with money you know you don't have to have that much from what i from what i hear and gather a man could live pretty damn handsomely off of only fifty thousand dollars okay so okay it would be nothing ma'am for an american man to go to your country pay for whatever cow pay for whatever house pay whatever dollar bill, okay, to get that woman and also not have that woman work. Why? Because the cost of living is so significantly cheaper. It's a different conversation is what I'm trying to say. You're comparing apples to, I don't know, rocks. It's not the same thing, all right? Being in America, and this is just being honest, you all, and a lot of, I'm going to be honest, a lot of these females, quite frankly, piss me off with the whole, you know, a man is only supposed to work and the woman don't do nothing, but, you know, take care of the house. Y'all really piss me off with that conversation because it's fucking unrealistic. We're in a new day and age and a new time. What women and, and couples and men can do over in different countries in Africa like that and stuff like that is going to be drastically different from what we're having to do here. So whereas a, a, a married couple over in a different country, you know, the woman not being able to work because it doesn't cost that much to take care of a whole damn village. Yeah, that would be no problem. Right. And I see our donations, I, I'm going to get to them. I, I just really got to put this into the proper context. I think they are really purposefully exaggerating and gaslighting. It's getting on my damn nerves. So, ma'am, to your argument and to your point, a man from America going overseas and dealing with those women over there so where they do have a better investment and they do get a better return on their investment, um, that's not an issue. And on top of that, those men, they would be able to generate enough money to where the woman does not have to work at all. All she would have to do is essentially take care of the household and all that, because my dollar here is going to be worth so much more. So yeah, that, that's not, that's not a problem, right? It's not a problem because first things first, I'm going to be re receiving a great return on my investment because I'm getting a better woman. That's first things first. And on top of that, my money stretches further and longer. So the things that I'm able to do here are going to be way more than I'm able to do in my own country where there's inflation and all this other bullshit going on. On top of dealing with piss poor quality women. And again, I understand it's great women here, but it's not enough to go around. All right. Let's be honest. In America, you all, you can't really have those same expectations and standards that you would have over in Africa. Why? Because it costs more to live here. It costs more to do anything. All right? Period. 
I can go to Africa and live like a king off of twenty thousand dollars. America, that's bitch. You might as well go under a damn bridge. So you you cannot conflate the two. You cannot compare the two, ma'am. And that's what you're doing. And it's quite frankly pissing me off. And so many women do this. I see in, a, in them different country, them women, they worse than us because they gonna want you to do this, that, and the third, and they don't work. Well, they don't have to. My $20,000 can take care of them, their family, their cows, chickens. Like, it don't matter. So, yeah, you can't ask for the same thing that an African woman would ask for here in America. It, it does not compare. And a lot of women do that here as well, and it pisses me off. I hear a lot of women coming through like, um, yeah, you know, a man is supposed to take care of everything because I'm a homemaker and I'm taking care of the home and I'm making sure the house clean and it just basic shit that all human beings should be doing anyway. They feel like because they're keeping the house clean like a grown adult is supposed to, that they deserve for a man to just take care of everything. That is unrealistic in America today. All right. That used to be a thing way back in the day for our grandparents, maybe our parents, but not even them. But today you all no, absolutely not. A man used to be able to buy a house Provide all the food, all the, the bills, and all that for a whole family of five by himself. That used to be a thing, not in today's time. A woman is going to have to bring something to the damn table. Be mad at your mama, man. You, you, you just can't. Y'all cannot be out here like, oh, no, 50-50, that's crazy. Or, oh, no, a woman shipping in monetarily, that's crazy. How, Sway? How? I don't like how y'all are being this damn delusional. Y'all are faking this whole soft girl shit to a fault. There is not a lot of women out there that is going to be able to completely rely on the man's source of income to maintain and sustain the whole household. You cannot. In America, ma'am, the women got to work. Sorry about you. Sorry about you. She gonna have to work, baby. Be mad. I know. Ah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, mm -mm, these pick me's. Bitch, let's be real. Let's be honest. You're going to have to work. If you are a grown woman in America, you're going to have to work. I don't care if your man is bringing in $300,000, half a million dollars. You're gonna have to work, ma'am. Sorry. You need a side hustle or something. You got to bring something in. It is unrealistic in today's time to be out here as a grown-ass woman in America talking about the woman don't got to work. No, you're going to have to work, sweetheart. All right. I don't care if you're working just to be able to pay for your own things like your hair and your makeup and your nails, your clothes, you know, I, you're going to have to work, though. That is not going to be 100% on the man to make sure that he's covering all the cost of living on top of your personal needs, wants, and desires. That In America, unrealistic. So by her even trying to bring in what they're doing in Africa and comparing it to America and our way of life, it's, it's gaslighting, to say the least, and disrespectful. Absolutely, a man can go overseas to Africa and that woman don't got to work. Why? Because my $5 is worth $5 million. So, yeah, fine. You got a deal, man. Just make sure you got my dinner ready. Make sure that you are being a submissive, cooperative woman. Make sure you're raising my kids right. Yeah, I, I got you. In Africa, in Africa, that can go. America, not so much. Let me be honest with y'all. A lot of us going to have to go 80-20. 60 40 10 90 you gotta but it, it's gonna be something it's never gonna be in today's time the woman ain't gotta do shit unless you're dealing with a multi-millionaire please stop lying to yourself ain't no manifesting in the damn world go i'm sorry 
And so just I, that just kind of pissed me off. And there's so many women out there like, oh, now, nah, like the man's supposed to do all of that. He supposed to do all of that. Yeah, sure. It's men out there that would want to. But the reality of it is, is it realistic in today's time? No. You are. Let me tell y'all something. There is nothing but masculine men around me. Do you understand me? I have nothing but providing, protecting, leading, teaching men around me. From my husband to my father-in-law to my brother-in-law, I got nothing but masculine, strong men around me, black men around me. So where that is their mindset. Yes, I'm going to provide for my family. I'm going to take care of my woman. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take care of home. Absolutely. However, in today's climate, yeah, baby, I got this and I got that, but you probably going to have to do that for yourself if you want all of that. And it's not to say that the men are not striving to reach those levels to where they can take care of everything. Nonetheless, you all, in reality, and the fact of the matter is, you're going to have to work, ma'am. I'm sorry. Be mad at your mama. Yes, I have a providing, protecting, leading, teaching man. Yes, I do. Absolutely. Absolutely. I have that traditional old school. That's how he was raised. He was raised in the household to where his father took care of everything and all of that. But then times kicked in to where the mama had to come step up to the plate. Because why? Men get laid off. Things get set back in motion. All of that. So, yeah, a man could have the right intention. Like, yeah, I, I, I would prefer to pay for 100% of everything and not have my woman lift a finger and, you know, be good and be that be that man in that, in, in that role. Yes. But the times, y'all. So it is absolutely disrespectful, delusional, unrealistic, and gaslighting to say that a woman does not have to work, especially in today's time in America. Please stop playing with yourself. You're going to have to work, man. I don't care if you got to contribute 10%. You're going to have to work, though. And like I'm saying, even that if that's just for your own little upkeep, for your hair and your nails and all of that, like, yeah. But to say 100% in today's time, the majority of women out here are going to be able to completely and solely lift up that man's income, unreal fucking listed. And please stop playing. I know y'all going to be mad. It is what it is. You know, uh oh, Nubian coming through again. Big shout out to Nubian. I'm just, I'm just breaking it down to a crumb. I get so mad when I hear women say that cringy shit. It's so cringy. Like, yeah, a man can be a masculine providing man and still be, and still be realistic enough to know that hey, I can't take on 100 percent of this though. Like, baby, can you? You gonna have to do at least 10, 5 percent, 15, 20. You know, I, I can't do it all. I like, can't, you're going to have to, you know, I, I just, I don't like that. I don't like that. Am I off base? Maybe I'm off base. Yeah. I can't relate bitch. Cause I'm, I, my man pay a hundred percent of everything, including my little nails and my hair. And, maybe I'm off base. Okay. But I, I, I'm looking around y'all and I'm sitting, look, let me, let me put it like this y'all. I live around a bunch of rich white people. Okay, it is nothing but rich white people around here and Indians. Okay, I hope that's the proper word to use. I don't know if it's Indians or native, I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, the, the bulk of my area is rich white people. Okay, and guess what? I see, I see the wives getting their ass up and going to work, they're nurses and doctors and shit. I see. Those women getting their ass up and going to work. My dentist, shout out to my dentist, okay? Chesterfield Dentistry, beautiful black women. I shared my um my post over on my community uh, wall. Y'all yeah, saw my damn teeth throwing up gang signs, whatever. She's a young black woman. We're around the same age. She's a doctor. 
Black woman, beautiful, stunning, drop dead gorgeous. She's a doctor and her husband is a doctor. They have children. She's contributing. She's bringing in money. Like we're just in a different time, you all. And I don't, I don't know their setup. Her money could just be going to the savings. And I doubt it. I don't know. But nonetheless, I'm trying to paint the picture of it doesn't matter how successful a man is. It doesn't matter how rooted in his masculinity he, he is. In today's world, the woman is going to have to work. You cannot compare America to Africa. You can't. Yeah, African women, we don't work. But guess what you do do, though? You submit to your men, you cook, you clean, you honor, you respect, you know your place, you know your role. And so it kind of makes up for it, right? That's first things first. Like you're still playing a role and you're still playing a job. But on top of that, ma'am, it's so much easier and cheaper. To, to have that type of dynamic and setup versus here. The American men would have no problem doing that. The American men would have no problem going to Africa and setting a woman up nicely to where she does not have to work because his dollar is worth a million dollars over there. And I'm just, I'm now I'm being silly and exaggerating, but I'm just painting a picture for you versus here. His dollar is worth a penny. So I don't like that. I really hate how I hear women out here today talking about, oh yeah, you know, a woman shouldn't have to work. Maybe we shouldn't, but we still got to. Sorry. I don't care if it's 10%, 20%. I don't care if all your money is going to um, savings. I don't care if all your money is going to investment accounts. I don't care if all your money is going to you. At the end of the day, ma'am, you're going to have to work. Because guess what? Even if your money is going all to you, well, guess what? That man is not going to be out here paying for all this extra shit that you're trying to get. So, yeah, that money is still not coming from him, though. I hope y'all follow me. Y'all can be mad at y'all mama. It's all right. Y'all want to be delusional so bad. I don't know how to not be real, y'all. Yeah, because I, me, I, I only deal with men, you know, to where I ain't got to do nothing. But yet, you're on social media. Is that not a, a business? Is that not a job? Is that not a source of income? Y'all be out here stunting in front like you ain't working. Like, this is still working, though. Nubian says, stop it. Two girls, one from Nigeria and one from Kenya. Trust me, the girls over there are absolutely gorgeous and feminine. Quality of life is better. You have money. Yes, I am a multimillionaire. So, look, Nubian and Pharaoh coming through like, look, please stop. Stop the cap. Stop lying. Yeah. We are absolutely able to get way more bang for our buck. And, and, and that's the gaslight to it all, Nubian Pharaoh. All right. And like I always say, it's always levels and layers to the conversation, right? First things first, if a man is, is going to explore different options of women outside of the United States, his money is going to stretch further and longer. So he'll have no problem with providing. Although that was not an issue to begin with. Men don't mind providing. It's just that we live in a different time in America to where a woman may have to contribute. Okay? Period. Second off, right? You're going to get a better woman, which makes the investment into her a lot more palatable because you know that you're getting a good return on your investment. So I, I really despise how she is trying to come through and paint this picture like, oh, they're worse in Africa. No, they're not because they're, they're better women. That's, that's first things first. And again, that is not to dis, uh, dismiss or diminish the women that are here that are great women. It's just not enough to go around like it is in other places. I'm going to be real enough to say that. They are raised a certain way. Right. Our culture here is effed up. And when and if you're black, it's not even your own fault entirely. We got so much working against us here in damn America. 
from the way that we were brought over here and the way that we were indoctrinated and raised. We got so much working against us. So I'm not even faulting us for that. But at the end of the day, the facts are the facts. And the fact is, you're going to get a better return on your investment somewhere else due to the culture being more intact, due to the women being raised a certain way. Let's just be honest. So, like, again, ma'am, the whole providing thing was never the issue. They don't mind doing that for quality women. Men will even play, will even pay the bulk in America, right? But just being realistic, I have to make the claim of a woman still gonna have to work in America. Sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I just anyway. Let me continue. But big shout out to you, Nubi and Pharaoh. You coming through, showing a lot of love. I appreciate you so very much. Did y'all drop the crowns and the one hundreds and salutes? Y'all better had. Okay, let's continue, y'all, and then we get to rest y'all's uh, donations. It's simply the man giving to the girl's family in appreciation of receiving a wife. He who finds a wife finds a what? A good thing, yes. So, not necessarily. Have you seen the divorce rates here in America? <clears throat> Plenty of men who thought that they found a good wife and she was not a good thing. She was a starter, she was looking for a starter husband, right? She was looking for a meal ticket. She was using him for his baby batter. So let, let, let's not, let's continue though. If you're an American man, cause that's all I've seen and you're used to taking things for free, don't go to Africa. Don't, you will be hunted down like a criminal for stealing someone's daughter. Mm. No sense. Get her ass off my screen. Okay, let's continue. Big shout out to you Nubian and Pharaoh. Thank you, Terenzo. It says, there's a big and little joker in every deck of cards, just like there's both in every culture. And y'all can't delete because one, y'all scared, and two, the joke's on y'all. Am I joking or no, J? Uh-oh. Am I yoking? Why chromosome? Man up. Drizzle, drizzle. Whoopsie. Thank you, Terenzo. What else do I see? Thank you, John. It says she doesn't qualify what she's asking for. And a lot of women here, we don't. Okay. We don't. We don't. Let's continue. Tokyo says, forget about this chick. I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna keep my cows, ghosts, and chickens. <laughs> At least I know they are good for something. Lord have mercy. Drizzle, drizzle. Mark, thank you so much. It says, hey, Danica, the real women are taking some serious L's in 2024. The passport bros, the soft guy era, and the drizzle drizzle movement showing that big ass mirror. Hashtag whoopsie. Drizzle drizzle. Mm, 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 mm. It's getting cold out here. It's getting real cold out here. And like I'm saying, ladies. The men are not playing, you know, when it comes to their time, money, love, respect, resources, you're going to have to be deserving. You're going to have to qualify and you cannot shame these men for looking for quality women to play their role with. Right. I hear so many women talking about what a, what a, a man is supposed to do this and a man supposed to do that. But y'all never go into what a woman is supposed to do to qualify. What is a woman supposed to do to uh, deserve such a, a treatment or such a man? Y'all don't go that far. And and can I be real, you all? And I know y'all gonna be mad as I know that they're gonna be mad as hell, Mark. Hold on, Mark. Thank you, John. It says women control access to sex and childbirth. Neither sex nor childbirth happens without her consent or choice. This girl is average of five and should seek employment at the factory of or post office. John, please don't get locked up. Lord have mercy. Alex says, what's inside that truck bumper? For oh, 
Alex. Didn't I tell y'all to stop? Hold on. And I hate to do this to you, Alex, because you show a lot of love. You know, you be over there on Patreon, all that. But I got to do this because you, you out of pocket. Hold on. Let me find Alex. Oh, you lucky I can't find you. Oh, I can't find you. Alex, say something so I can time you out. I'm going to wait for you to say something. I'm going to time your ass out because you out of pocket for that. This is not funny. Um, Dim Eyes says, lady, I'm not buying a cow. <laughs> Have mercy. Hold on. I'm waiting for Alex. Oh, now Alex don't want to say nothing because she know you're going to get, you're going to get your ass timed out, Alex. Hold on to me. I'm, I'm scrolling, making sure I get everybody. Miss Karate says, salute to Nubian because he paid our bill also. You right. You right. But y'all still getting timed out, though. Thank you, Dem Oz. Oh, my God. Her forehead looks like an approaching tidal wave. Uh, say something else. Um, I, I need Alex Star to put something else in the comments. I need Dem Eyes to put something else in the comments so I can time y'all both out. Okay. Thank you, Upward Man. It says, shout out to the Afro treasure trolls. Hashtag Rogaine do work. Lord have mercy. Ain't nothing funny. I am waiting. We have two fugitives on the run. I need, I need Alex Starr. Who else was that? Was that Karate? Whoever that, who else, whoever else I said, I need y'all to comment right now so I can go ahead. Hold on. Playing too much. Thank you, uh, John. It says a man can't sexually take what a woman has. He can only convince her why she should give him what she has based on her decision. Drizzle, drizzle. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm caught back up. All right, I'm waiting for Alex to show their face. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm. No. <laughs> Speak up so you can get your ass timed out. Karate, was that you? Don't do it. Alex. Oh, oh, please be honest. Be be a, a good citizen and go ahead and turn yourself in. Okay. You're going to make your time worse if you don't. Now, I was only going to time you out for 10 seconds. Now it's going to be a minute. Yeah, leave her forehead alone. She can't help her forehead. Fuck is wrong with y'all. Now, hold on. This is out of control. Out of control. Y'all get my damn likes up. We should have at least 600 likes. Dem I says drizzle, drizzle for rizzle. Lord have mercy. Drizzle, drizzle on that damn like button. Okay. Aaron says, I'm 24. What's uh, paying three k a month and car, um, uh, working, going to school and gym. My ex still didn't want to work and left me. Focus on yourself, Kings. A fool and his money will soon be parted. Aaron, you know what it is, Aaron. The issue is you have these young women also listening to these older hoes telling them about you know what a real man is and what a real man does and what she should not do and what you you got that going on Aaron and so these young females are out here like oh okay so you mean to tell me I'm not supposed to work and I'm not supposed to do this and I ain't supposed to take no man to do this and do that oh, okay and they never give the other side to it to where they're Again, explaining what a woman is required to do. All right. On top of that, Aaron, right? They are not being told how to live in reality. I'm sorry, y'all, but in 2024, a woman is going to have to bring way more to the table 
than just decorating a house and baking cakes. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry. So yes, you're going to have to work. Yes, you're going to have to contribute in one way or another. And that's not to say that you're not dealing with a providing, protecting, leading, teaching man. That's just basing in reality. Okay, wake the fuck up and stop playing with yourself. So, Aaron, I guarantee you, your ex is going to wake up one day when she's 35 and she's going to say, damn, I should have stayed with Aaron because Aaron, he was 24 and he was able to pay, you know, $3,000 and pay for a car and all this. And, you know, he was focused and ambitious and driven and, you know, damn, I should have stayed with him. All he wanted me to do was take my ass to work and pay 10%. All he wanted me to do was, you know, be a uh, contributor to the damn relationship. Damn, I fumbled. So it is what it is. I really hate that these old hoes are setting these young women up for failure. That's why I go so hard. So many people keep confusing everything and they make it about, you know, these hoes. Like, man, why are we focused on these hoes? We don't want these hoes anyway. Why are y'all trying to correct these hoes? You know, when y'all don't want those hoes anyway, they're trash. Ignore them. Blah, 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 blah. And I feel y'all to a certain degree and to a certain extent. But a lot of y'all sleep on the impact. Y'all sleep on the influence that these hoes have on other young women. That are soaking up and getting the quote unquote game from them. So we got to check that shit at the door. We got to let them know, hey, that's unrealistic. We got to let them know, hey, you got to contribute. You got to bring something to the table. You got to be a worthy, valuable woman. We got to do that. Because if we don't, you have young women fumbling husbands. All because the sprinkle, sprinkle disciples told her that, yeah, the man that you deal with, he got to be a multi-billionaire. And if he's not, he's broke and you shouldn't have to lift a finger or work because a real man, he ain't going to require you to do nothing. And a real man. And it's fucking ridiculous. And it pisses me off. Yeah, because all I, all I should have to do is be cute. Yeah, just be cute. No. That's not how life works in today's time. This is 2024, ma'am, to where even a million dollars is not worth a million dollars. So y'all just doing too much, to be honest. Y'all not being real with y'all selves. Y'all not addressing the elephants in the room. And the elephant is you don't even deserve or you don't even qualify for that type of man first things first but even if you do reality man the real world man come on man y'all doing too much the real world says you're gonna have to contribute in one way or another and yes i'm even talking about monetarily be mad at your damn mama as a matter of fact be mad at america bought this damn inflation bitch come on we, we cannot compare, no. Damien says, she's capping. Women work in those countries and they submit. Those men there don't play that. Oh, who is this? Shout out to FS Claire. Y'all dropped the, uh, the crowns and the salutes um, for FS Claire for coming through and showing love as well. And big shout out to MVP Charles. Big shout out to... Um, was it Pharaoh, Nubian Pharaoh? Nubian Pharaoh came in real heavy. So we really appreciate that. But yeah, so so is that is that right, Dam Damien Cross? You mean to tell me these other women, these other countries, they, they are working and submitting to their men too? Mm. They big capping. Mm. Drizzle, drizzle. And like I said, I don't care if it's 5%, 10%, 15%. 15%. Bitch, I don't care if it's 50-50. You're going to have to do something in America. Shit. To make it enough. Hold on. Thank you, King Pepper. It says, I'll provide for any female but ran through Keisha. Lord have mercy. And that's the thing. Men don't mind providing. I think... 
this is something else we're not being real about, right? We're trying to shame men into just doing everything for us. And we'll say, you know, yeah, you know, a, a, a real man, he's not going to have his woman working or a real man, he's not going to have his woman contributing. And a real man, he's going to take on all the load and all responsibility and all of this and all of that. And they're making it seem like that if you are a man that, let's say, is requiring your woman to pay 10%, right? Right. They're making it seem like that man is not a masculine providing man because his woman has to pay 10%. You know what I mean? Oh, well, you ain't no real man because if he was a real man, if he was a real provider, you would take on 100%. That is fucking ridiculous in today's world, you all. And I hate that y'all are doing that. It does not take away from a man's masculinity because the way the world is structured today goes against him being able to do those things now if we were in a different time to where um the the prices weren't so damn high and the interest rates rates weren't so damn high and you know what i mean i guarantee you a lot of men would have no problem paying 100 because they could right so I don't like how they're doing y'all like that, fellas. I don't. That really grinds my gears. It pisses me off because it's unrealistic. It really is. I see multi-million. I ain't gonna say they multi-millionaires, but they, they making millions over here, y'all. They their houses are worth a million dollars over here, right? Or at least a half a million. So I'm seeing them. And their wives and women are still getting up and going to work. And then their wives are still going to the grocery stores and picking kids up. and Like, they're still doing that. And they're contributing. So, I, I, if even the most wealthy of us are out here having to contribute, man, come on. Come on, son. Come on, son. Let's stop. Let's stop. <laughs> Let's just stop, man. These women out here are married to doctors. <laughs> and, and yes, they're black and they're white and they're Indian, Asian. It's pretty mixed where I am, but I'm going to say it's majority white. So, and they're making pretty good damn money. So, come on. And they're still going to work. They're, they're still having to, come on now. Let's stop. Dusty says, I got this stack of food stamps. I'm a boss. Okay. Warning. Warning. And I'm still waiting on uh, Alex. I have not forgot. You're making it worse for yourself. You need to turn yourself in, Alex. Okay. I think I'm caught up. I'm back at Nubian. Big shout out to Nubian. Let me go to the bottom. Thank you, uh, Double Up. It says, let's address these women. Hold on. Let's address these, those women get beat into submission if they don't listen. And if that man doesn't raise the child, the child isn't allowed to speak in public. What? Double up, make it make sense for me. I'm confused. Let's address these, those women get beat into submission if they don't listen. So, Double Love, are you saying that you got to address the elephant in the room that she's not talking about? And the elephant in the room is, look, those women over there. They got to obey because the men don't play. So, is, is that what y'all saying? I don't, I don't know. 
double up. You need to double up and let me know what the hell is going on. Drizzle, drizzle. Hold on now. I'm confused now. Marie says, women everywhere else all across the globe works and loves their husband just fine. It's mainly in the Western parts where these pros are on some BS. Mm, okay, that makes sense. I just think it's unrealistic, especially in America, to say that the woman does not have to work. To say that the man is supposed to pay 100%. It's unrealistic. You, you Maybe you could have got away with that some years ago even but y'all this shit is crazy it's just it's impossible it's impossible you know a lot of y'all gonna have to go that 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 80 20 a lot of y'all gonna have to go that that 10 90 hell 50 50 you know you might have to do that akuma says i can't be with a woman that has no hustle or passion in america people period to be honest it doesn't even sound right drizzle drizzle thank you uh shanik it says American women are just in a bubble and unaware. Drizzle, drizzle. But you see her? Hold on. She, is, both of these women, damn, what happened to it? I, I actually erased it. Hold on, y'all. Let me bring it back up. Both of these women you all in this video, they're from Africa. Hold on, let me see my screen. These women are from Africa. Now, they are living here, to your point. But, yeah, according to them, they're from a culture to where, you know, y'all American men would just be peasants. Herc says, what happened to D6? Danica, you six should interview some girls and host a speed dating contest. No, absolutely but I think Six says she is going to get into, um, what is it called? Uh, matchmaking. So, yeah, maybe Six can do that. I ain't doing it. Uh, thank you, John. It says, said Shahar, uh, I can never say the queen name. Shaharazad Ali. Uh, older black women fail to instruct younger black women how to work with a man, therefore ending up like her. Mm, alone, past 50 uh plus lord have mercy whoopsie whoopsie <laughs> yeah yeah i dropped the crowns okay let me get to fs clear hold on y'all thank you dusty again it says was that you cool talking about uh, uh about it dating what are you talking about dusty let's stop hold on uh thank you aaron it says facts 10 percent is all a nigga asks for <laughs> I live in Los Angeles. Shit is no joke. Three more years and I'll be a dentist. Keep preaching. But here's the thing, Adam. And salute to you. That is so commendable. Amazing. Even the high earning, high value men that are doctors and lawyers and all of that. Like even y'all are still going to have to have a woman contribute at least 10% like you're saying. You know, it's just, I, I really hate it. And like I'm saying, it pisses me off because so I know so many women will not have husbands. They will not be settled down. They will not be at ease. They will not be at peace because they are living by these outdated, unrealistic, delusional, confusional ass standards and guidelines. It is just, it's just not going to work. You're going to continue to block your blessings. And I hate that for you. You have doctors and lawyers and all of the de dentists and, you know, damn millionaires. You got these men out here and their women still have to work. Do too what we're presented with in this country so to conflate and confuse and compare and contrast africa to america it's just again apples to rocks it's not the same yeah a woman in africa dealing with an american man she more than likely will not have to work okay but in america you do man so please stop dusty says uh i got that one already am i caught up I miss FS. Now, what the hell just happened? 
Y'all, I'm doing my best to keep with y'all donations because y'all do not have to give me no money. So I gotta <sighs> shout out to FS Claire. I'm gonna get to you. It just really like restarted everything over. Hold on. Back to dusty, dusty ass. Okay, here it is. Thank you so much, FS. It says, tell a woman you hope she finds someone who loves her how she loves, then watch her reaction. Most women take it as an insult, and that should tell you everything you need to know. Deep down, women know they aren't worth it. Ooh. Ooh. So, again, FS is flipping the script around. FS is like, look, Let's play the same game that you hoes are playing. I hope you find a man that has the same perspective as you, that is equally, quote unquote, yoked to you, so that you can have a taste of your own medicine. But see, he's going on to further say, when you say things like that, the women get upset. Why? Because they know they're full of shit. Okay. And they know they do not measure up and they're not worth that type of investment. So that's a great point. Yeah. I hope you find somebody just like you. And she going to get in her feelings because she knows she ain't shit. So. <laughs> Drizzle, drizzle. Lord have mercy. And again, y'all dropped the uh, the crowns. But this whole this whole video right here, you all, I find to be very problematic. I find to be very um, gaslighty. I, I don't appreciate. I didn't appreciate nothing about this video. You know, especially with her being an African woman. Like, yeah, y'all think this and y'all think that. And again, fellas, they're only doing that because they want you all to limit yourselves to only them. These two women on my screen that are from Africa agree with one another, chopping it up, dapping each other up. They want you to be discouraged from exploring different and better options. Why? So that you can still be subjected to only them. It's all a plot game twist. Oh, no, y'all can't go overseas. Y'all can't do this. Y'all can't do that. It's going to be worse. I hope you know it's worse. Is it really, ma'am? Is it really worse when I'm getting way more bang for my book? Is it really worse? Is it even worse if, you know, my money is stretching further? Is it really worse? Come on now. Let's stop. Let's stop, y'all. Is it worse when a woman does not mind contributing? Because you already got called out, African woman, for capping. The men said that the women absolutely do work. And they're still submissive. So, whoopsie. Drizzle, drizzle. But thank you so much, FS. Super dope of you. Thank you. Thank you, Dim Eyes. It says, I can't find an apartment close to my new job because Section 8 housing has taken over, which I don't uh, close to qualify for. Don't live in big cities. Take the big city money back to your fam and breed your own cows. Oh, my God. Whoopsie. Drizzle, drizzle. Dim Eyes. Now, you didn't have to come through like this. Okay. Please. Can y'all please relax? Thank you, Garland. It says, God dang, that sledgehammer forehead is shiny. Hold on. What's your name, Garland? Let me Hold on, give me one second, Garland. I got to find you so I can time your ass out. Hold on, give me one sec. Oh, there you go. Garland Berry, put user in time out for one minute. Uno minuto. You thought. 
Thank you, John Till. What I missed? Just left the gym. Drizzle, drizzle. Boy, you a whole two hours behind. Watch, watch the replay in two X speed. That's all I got for you. Okay. Shannon says, um, some places outside of America, the men are most strict and don't play them games. American men are just more understanding. Exactly. That's why I said earlier, you know, these women that are coming over here are upset. They're upset because y'all are leaving. Y'all are the better men. They came here for y'all. And to partake in the city girl, hot girl culture and lifestyle. So if y'all are leaving, that's a problem for them. But thank you so much, Shanik. Thank you, uh, Damien. It says they passed a law in the country. I can't remember that if they talk back, they will be beaten. Oh, wow. Oh. Double Up says, yes, they get beat. No back talk. You're not a woman if you talk when a man is talking. Ooh. Hold on, y'all. Now, Maurice, why are you coming here? I'm muted. I ain't muted. Turn your damn volume up. Teresa says, these clowns are going from Jezebels to Drizzlebells instantly. Yet, people think things can't happen overnight. Shit. Look around. Whoopsie. Drizzle, drizzle. Hold on now. Y'all here clowning. Yeah, y'all here clowning way too much. You will get time your ass out. Do not laugh. Thank you, Aaron. It says white folk know how to focus and delay gratification. Ooh. Is that right? Mm. We just keep getting set up for failures, all I can say. With all these damn ridiculous, outdated damn principles and standards. And it's just ridiculous. I hate it, really. Okay, I think I'm caught at the top. Dusty, hold on. Dusty, Dusty ass says, Yakub is out here giving women the bald, in, the bad info, the drizzler. Shut up, Dusty. Okay. Y'all just don't have no damn chill. I'm over it. Okay? I really am. Double Up Again says, you missed the second comment, but those two girls are over here talking that snatch because in their country, they would shut the fuck up. Whoopsie. So double up what you're saying is these are some foreign real women. And that's what I said earlier. A lot of those women that come over here from these different countries, they are wanting to live that hot girl, city girl, strong, independent boss bitch life. And that's why men are still even fling away from them. Like, baby girl, you are tainted. Thank you, Johnny. It says, I need my gas mask. Johnny, shut up. Okay. Because y'all doing way too much. Am I caught up now? Because y'all y'all playing too much. Did I get everybody? I think I, I, think I did. Hold on. I think I'm caught up, y'all. I think I did pretty good. No, I didn't. Y'all in here clowning. Emmanuel, what are you talking about? Hold on. Let me get to these super chats, y'all. I missed quite a few of y'all. Give me a second. Dim I says, Drizzle Drizzle is bringing shame back. Alistair Fano says, we need 
ourselves to split 50 50. lord have mercy they want you to split 50 50. um hold on what the hell about chick-fil-a y'all ain't shit hold on y'all now y'all know i do intermittent fasting i'm hungry so don't be talking about no damn chick-fil-a i want some fries and i better have some damn chick-fil-a sauce um let me see oh alex you want to show your face i know you lying hold on baby put user in time out for five minutes i told you you made it worse for yourself you made it worse for yourself by, by disappearing for so damn long. I was only gonna give you 10 seconds. But since you want to clown five minutes, okay? Let me see. Akuma says, my grandma worked and helped my grandfather pay for college in the 60s. He graduated and became a black doctor in 72. Radiologist. That's teamwork. Oh, yes. Shannon says, double up told no lies. Dusty says, okay, I got that one. Uh, I got double up. I got Johnny. I got Demise. Um, I got Alex. You got timed out. I got John Till, Shane, Damien. He said, yeah, I get beaten. That's crazy. Okay. I'm looking. I'm looking. I know I missed some of y'all. I saw it. Okay, hold on. So do y'all? Well, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna ask it. I ain't gonna ask it. Yes, I am. Let me let me take a poll. We don't need no poll, fellas. Do you feel like it? Is your duty to no? Let me let me. I gotta I gotta articulate this right. Um, let me see. Start a poll. I'm gonna start a poll. Why can I not see it? Okay, here we go. Should a woman, I'm going to ask y'all two questions. Should a woman contribute uh, monetarily? Shit, what the hell? In today's time? Yes or no? Okay. Should a woman contribute monetarily in today's time? Yes or no? And then I want to ask y'all if you had, if you could, rather, would you as a man pay 100%? I'm going to ask y'all both of those questions. Because it is in my opinion that a lot of men would want to pay 100 percent it's just that we live in a day and age to where that is realistically impossible okay let me see alistar says dear black family start loving yourselves facts okay um let me see. DB says, Anika, you have any thoughts on the 4B movement? Yes. Yes. We might have a discussion about that tomorrow. We'll come back tomorrow. Let's talk about that. One hit of quitter says, girl, forehead looks like a car bumper. Put using in time out for one minute. Okay. Miss Karate says, we don't snitch around here, Danika. I don't care what y'all do. You, if I if I catch you, you're going to get caught up and you're going to get locked up. 
Debbie Raver says, now see, at least I knew I was going to jail and negotiated for a good sale. These other criminals are hitting foreheads and running. Put using in time out for one minute. Emmanuel says, I am a king and I demand a woman to find a way to take me to Chick-fil-A on a Sunday and I won't settle for anything less. Drizzle, drizzle. Put in time out for one minute. Okay. Um, Alex says, the girl don't have a forehead. She got a five head. Put user in time out for one minute. Um, Let me see. Uh... Shannon says, remember, fellas, if you're not paying your bills, let her go. Drizzle, drizzle. Lord have mercy. Them I says, drizzle, drizzle for rizzle. Lord have mercy. Okay, I think I'm caught up, you all. If I miss you, I apologize. Y'all playing way too bad. Y'all wilding real bad, baby. Y'all all getting timed out. Fuck you mean. Uh, thought he's going to come in here and just clown? Uh -huh. Please. Thank you, Johnny. Please. You thought. Terenzo says, to emphasize a point made that many overlook, it's the fact that when a man speaks the truth, not a damn thing should be said afterward in terms of how Eastern and Western women interact with men. Head of the house, not hoes. Whoopsie. Drizzle, drizzle. Lord have mercy. And that was all bars. All bars and facts. Shanik says, there was a point in time where husband and wife would go to work and help support the family. Drizzle, drizzle is bringing it all back. Deshaun says, the real question we have to ask is, will they have that same energy for Russia and China? Drizzle, drizzle. Taste the rainbow. <laughs> drizzle, skittles. Taste the rainbow. Lord have mercy. Alice thought you going to go scot-free. <laughs> Locked up. We won't let you out. Hold on. Drizzle, drizzle. Uh, Garland says, I want to know why I got to go to jail because she wanted to give us a second eclipse. <laughs> With that forehead. Put user in time out for one minute. Okay. If y'all keep this up, I don't know what, what I'm going to do. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Who was that? Rim G. You lucky I can't find your ass, Rim G. You lucky I can't find your ass. See, I can't time out on StreamYard. Oh my God. Timothy says she's rent out ass space on that forehead. Hold on one second. Cause I can see you. You highlight it. The super chat give you away for the police to come collect your ass. Hold on. What's your name, Timothy? Hold on, got you. Put user in time out for one minute. Okay. Like I'm saying, y'all, it's going to get worse. You know, oh, Tony, I know you didn't. It's going to get worse, y'all. These women, they highly upset that a lot of y'all have standards now. A lot of y'all are trying to, you know, look for compatible, deserving women. They, they just don't like it. Let me see what y'all say on this poll. Y'all clowning way too bad, baby. I cannot. In poll. So I asked the men in my comments, should a woman contribute monetarily in today's time? 
5% of you all said no, and 94% of you all said yes. Now, let me ask you all this question. Start a poll. Um, I don't, if you could pay 100% in today's time for a quality woman, would you? Yes, of course. Or no, she still needs to contribute. Okay. Because it is in my humble opinion that a lot of men would want to pay 100%. You know, they would want to go ahead and provide everything. It's just that it's un, un, it's unrealistic in today's time. You know, no matter how rich you are, how much money you have, it's just unrealistic. Um, but I do believe that you all would want to. But maybe I'm wrong. Okay. If you could pay 100% in today's time for a quality woman, would you? Yes or no? Start the poll. Okay. Y'all can't take y'all no more. Show Nelson says, please, uh, it says peace to all the crown heads. Peace to you, Show Nelson. I'm glad that you showed up and showed out. Show Nelson. Hold on. Because I, I hear a lot of men who say, like, yeah, like I do believe in the man, you know, providing for the family. Like, yes, yes, yes. But realistically, I that's just not it's not feasible. I want to know how y'all feel about that. And I've seen so many women try to dismiss dismiss y'all and dismantle y'all and diminish y'all for not being able to do 100%. You know, like, you can't shame her for that. Like, look at the times. You know, and again, he may take on the bulk of the things, but nonetheless, like, come on, y'all. And I think it's unrealistic to teach women to look for men who who do pay for one hundred percent. I don't think that that's it's not it's not realistic, you know. Will some of us luck up to where our man pays for what one hundred percent of everything? Sure. Um, but I think that depends on the type of lifestyle that you're looking to live. Like, if you don't mind living a very humble life, then maybe. Um, what else? If you look up and find you a multi-millionaire, multi-billionaire, okay, maybe. But the majority of us, that's just not going to be our reality. And to teach women to strive for only that and never get with a man that cannot do, I think that's I think that's counterproductive, to say the least. Dusty says, uh, they said Nibiru was coming to the earth rotation. Who knew it come on YouTube? Put user in time out for five minutes. Dem I says, my Filipino wife knows when to shut up when men are talking. Drizzle, drizzle. Whoopsie. LaShawn says, if a man pays 100% of everything, she needs to 100% take care of the kids and home. She can have a side hustle, but her priority is family and home. I can agree with that, LaShawn. I can agree with that. If you do have a man that is taking care of 100% of the priorities financially and the bills, and he's making sure that you're able to live a luxury life, and he's taking care of your wants and all of that and your extracurriculars, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And I don't want to hear no shit about it. I don't want to no back talk about it. So, yeah, I agree with that. If that is your setup, ma'am, I don't want to hear no complaining about, oh, you're not helping me with the house. You're not helping me with the kids. You're not. Girl, he doing enough. All right. He doing enough. You know. So, let's not. Let's not. And also, you all like, can I be real? A lot of the talking points are outdated. Akuma says, I'll pay 100%, but I still want her to do for herself. Like, even if she hustling just for a side hustle or for a side uh, in her funds. 
I I can see that. I can see that. I think a lot of men would appreciate that. Yeah. Absolutely. Um but I think it's I think it's unrealistic and outdated that you still have women out here talking about, yeah, I deserve for a man to, you know, pay for 100 percent and still pay for my extracurriculars and pay for this and do that and do this and do that. You know, because after all, I'm pretty and I got pussy and, you know, I keep the house clean. Yeah, I decorate the house real pretty. And and I bake cakes. Ma'am, please shut up. Please shut up and have several seats. That don't make no damn sense. First things first, when it comes to the home being tidy and everything of that sort, and you feeling like you deserve for a minute to do all of that because you know I keep a house clean. I think that's a reach. Because first things first. If you were not there, ma'am, the house would more than likely be clean anyway because a lot of the masculine men are outside working. So he wouldn't even have time to be at home fucking up the house. You know what I mean? So what I'm trying to say is his house would probably be organized and clean anyway as a grown-ass man, a grown-ass productive man like that's outside of the home anyway. Like, So if the house is getting dirty, it's probably because you're doing it anyway. So, I don't know. I just, let me just be quiet, man. Let me just be quiet. Like, this is why I be getting in trouble. I'll be getting in trouble because, I, I don't know. Let me just jump. Terenzo says paying 100% yet saving zero. I'm telling you. Like, we got to, we got to have some kind of balance. You know, we got to have some kind of exchange. It, it, I believe in a woman generating her own money and having some of her money go towards savings, go towards investments, um, go towards maybe even little petty household uh bills something like that i i do believe in that especially in today's time i do i do and yes i am married to a man that is very traditional in his mindset to where he feels like a man should do all of that a man should provide and protect and a man should take care like that's how he was raised right um but i'm this is the way i'm set up and why i don't know if I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's something about me that feels like I need to contribute in that way. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe just to pick me in me. I don't know. You just have pick me, man. Identify how. That's it. You know, that's it. Because a real woman would never. Mm. I don't know, y'all. I'm still going uh, I'm still going to add on. Demi says, Pookie and Ray Ray come over for free, but you want me to pay for everything? Uh, take that bird brain nonsense somewhere else. Drizzle, drizzle. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Mm. And I think a big part of it is I've seen I've seen stuff collapse. You know, I've seen people be on hard times and stuff. And so I know how things can change drastic overnight. And so I don't ever want to have all of my eggs in my in my man's basket because he may need my basket one day. And if I don't have one for him, like, what are we going to do? You know, I've seen people get laid off or I've seen people get fired or I've seen people lose money and you're not able to contribute and all of that how you want you once were. You know what I mean? To where, like, yeah, your, your man is working, but he's not making as much as he used to. And I, so I saw how to say this. I feel like as a backup, it's imperative. Like, even if you are in a situation or a dynamic to where the man does pay 100%, please, ma'am, still have something coming in to where, you know, if things fall apart or things just happen, life happens, you know, your man would be able to rely on you for a little bit. 
you know, to contribute. Not saying that he's now just going to be like, oh, okay, baby, you take on 100% of everything. No, a man's going to always be a man. He's going to always contribute. He's going to always provide. But he may come up short one day. You just never know. And so I think it just comes from my upbringing with seeing instability and, and seeing, I don't know. I, I've seen things drastically happen to where you're all the way up and then you're all the way down. And I don't know. Let me just, anyway, I hope y'all understand where I'm coming from. I know y'all going to be mad, but it's okay, ladies. Mm -mm. Let me see. Fit and friendly Rich Krugers are winning. Wake up. Lord have mercy. Not the Cougars. So now y'all looking for sugar mamas. Please stop. Okay, I'm back at LaShawn. Uh, who else did I see? Akuma. I got that one. Okay, I got Shaw Nelson. Okay, let's go to the bottom. Sean Nelson again says, uh, I think it's a choice, not an expectation. You think what's a choice? Let me know because I'm confused. Um, let me see. I'm going to give y'all a few more minutes on that poll. Yeah, I said what I said. Be mad at your mama. A woman shouldn't have to ever do that. Yeah, I just did. Yeah. Okay. Good luck with that, ma'am. Hmm. I think I'm caught up, y'all. Did I do pretty good on the Super Chats? I think I did. Yeah. If I miss you, I do apologize, though. I think I did pretty good. Chris says, uh, okay, hoes, what you going to look like after we stop paying for your hair and nails? <laughs> that saves me about $2,000 a month. Ooh, whoopsie. Have mercy, Lord have mercy. And what are you talking about, Michelle Nelson? Let me know. Okay, not Joanna, man. You miss John and Johnny. I miss John and Johnny. Hold on, let me see. Johnny says, I got a body shot for that five head. Drizzle, drizzle. Put user in time out for one minute. Okay. John Till says, same the hook, D. Hey, dirty. Hey, dirty. Baby, I got your money. Don't you worry. I said, hey. Look, baby, I got your money. Okay. They're going to be mad, but it is what it is. The automatic says every functioning adult is 100% responsible for their own lives. So if a man takes 50% off a female's hands, that's not enough. Shaking my head. Mm. Drizzle, drizzle. Deshaun says the real question we have to ask is, will they have that same energy? I, I, got, I got that one. I don't know why it doesn't show me everything on StreamYards. That is so annoying. But I think I am caught up. <laughs> I am not paying. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all be here clowning. Hold on. John Till says, funny how so many want to be traditional when it comes to who pays for what, but 80% of our homes are run by unmarried single mothers. Drizzle, drizzle. Now, let me see what y'all saying in this uh poll. Oh my God. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Y'all proved me wrong. See, I was under the impression that a lot of y'all would want to pay for 100% of 
So y'all really in y'all soft guy era then. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Y'all y'all improved me wrong. I'm like, oh no, I think a lot of men would want to pay for 100 percent It's just at the times. Hold on, y'all. Y'all improved me wrong. Alex says, forehead ad banner says, pay to promote video. Put user in time out for one minute. Shaw Nelson says, for the man to be all in 100%, a genuine woman will have that convo so they both have mutual understanding. Okay. Okay, I feel that. So y'all proved me wrong, though. I'm thinking that, you know, a lot of y'all men, y'all would pay 100% if you could pay 100%. Y'all thinking that the, the inflation is against y'all. But here y'all come in, these, in this damn <laughs> in this damn poll proving me wrong. Now, what happened to my poll? Oh, my God. Hold on, y'all. Okay, hold on. Let me find the poll. Okay. So I asked if you could pay 100% in today's time for a quality woman, would you? 56, bitch. 56% of you all said no. She still needs to contribute. <laughs> Oh my God. While 43% of you all said yes, of course. Man, y'all and y'all drizzle drizzle bag real heavy. Real heavy. Y'all, I know we ain't only got 599 likes. Come on now, y'all. Come on now, y'all. Thank you for making it to even 600. Whoever hit the like button just now, thank you. Because 599 was kind of disrespectful. Hold on. Alex, Alex, is that you again? I oh, know that's all day. All I see there says she leaves with half she needs to contribute. Mm, okay. Damn, y'all proved me wrong. Dusty Jones says the Crypt Keeper hosting the Love Connection. Lord have mercy. Oh, I cannot. Two live Q says divorce rate too high. Can't trust them. 50 50. Oh, so that's what it is. So the men, but that's why, but Q, that's why I asked if she's a quality woman. So y'all not gonna even pay 100% for quality women? Come on now, y'all. Come on now. I'm talking about she take care of the, the household, she submissive. She cater to you. She do all that you need her to do. If you got it like that, you still going to require her to contribute financially? Y'all ain't shit. Y'all ain't proved me wrong. You're like, no, nah, that bitch didn't need to work. <laughs> Fuck you mean. Hold on. <laughs> then my says, have a hobby and sell it on Etsy or something. Then my said, bitch, you better go make some bracelets. Lord, I have no words. I have no words. Y'all, y'all done proved me wrong. See, I told y'all these ninjas was zesty. These are some some feminine ass niggas. But ladies, could that be your fault though? They they saying they they requiring that because they don't trust you. That's why they doing it. Oh, y'all don't even trust the quality women. Lord have mercy. Terenzo said 100% is me and her both having our first child, not a ready-made family, which is all y'all are paying for. Ooh. So, okay. So, Terenzo is like, look, in his opinion, it's only okay for a man to pay 100% if that woman is 
coming into his life starting from scratch. She doesn't have any outside children, outside baggage, outside anything. They're coming together as a, a couple and they're building organically from scratch, from the bottom up. It's not already made families, nothing like that, okay? He's saying that is his stipulation. You have to have, you know, no outside baggage. He's going on to say a ready-made family is not feasible in that equation. Because what you're paying for is that. You're going to be paying for things that you did not contribute to. I don't know. Do y'all agree with Teresa on that? It's like, yeah, I'll pay 100% if, you know, she's all mine, our children are ours together, there's no outside things. Mm, that, that, I don't know. I, I think that's reasonable. Mm, I think that's reasonable. Hold on. Dusty says, who raised these so-called zesty men? Well, you know what they're going to say, Dusty? They're going to say, well, that's because the father's the men don't want to be fathers, so we ain't got no choice but to raise y'all zesty asses. That's because the men, but again, ladies, who is sleeping and laying down with those men, though? Y'all need to, y'all should have been laying down with the men that were productive. Y'all should have been going and getting with the tech guys. The lames, right? The squares. So let's not do too much. That's because the men, the men that what you chose, right? Okay, let let let's take accountability now. Okay, let let's do that. All day, CJ says my wife don't feel right without contributing. Teamwork make the dream work. Married thirteen years on Monday. Salute and congratulations to y'all. Yeah, that's how I'm wired and set up too. You know, and like I'm saying all day, CJ, like. My husband is the traditional type of man to where he believes in the man taking care of those things. You know, when it comes to the finances and the bills, like my husband, he's that. That's how he's raised. But me, I just feel like I, I don't know. I feel like I have to do that for him, for us, for him, for myself. Like, I don't feel right. Even though I know I'm a great woman, I'm a quality wife, you know, I do a lot of contributing and all of that. I know I add value, but I just feel like, I don't know. It's just the way I'm wired. I can't help it. I can't help it. I got to contribute something. And yes, I'm talking about financially. I have to. Whether, that, whether my money goes towards savings or, you know, something. I don't know. I'm going to shut up, though, because I know they're going to rip my head off. John Till says, if my dollar had the value of the 1950s and the woman carried herself like the woman of the 19, like the women of the 1950s and divorce was off the table, I'd carry her. Okay. And see, John Till, I thought that the majority of men would feel how you feel, but they said, no, they don't care. Like she still got to pay up. Drizzle, drizzle. Garland says, I mean, a forehead can pay Rose. What's your name, Garland? Put user in time out for one minute. All right. Major League says, I own, I'm only going to pay 100% to a nun. Okay, so a lot of y'all are on the same accord as far as look, I'll only do something like that for a certain type of woman. You cannot come with a bunch of bodies on you and a bunch of babies or a baby or you, you can't do that. You have to be a woman that is starting from scratch with me. Then I'll consider that. And I, I think that that's valid. I'm not going to lie. Thank you, Michael Bonds. I'm glad that you popping back up, Michael Bonds. I haven't seen you in a long time. Michael Bond says, I'm just now coming in. And based on the title, I know you had to put some folks in jail today. No chill. I'm telling you, Michael. Luckily, we did have um, Pharaoh come through and, and bail them out. He came through and, and dropped. Yeah, Nubian Pharaoh fortunately came through and dropped um, $200. 
So yeah, he he did he did your job, Michael Bonds. See, Michael Bonds, he used to be the bondsman, right? Michael Bonds would come through and he'd drop a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, and all of that, three hundred dollars, and he'd bail people out. Michael said it's getting too fucking expensive. I ain't doing that no more, you know. And so y'all gotta fend for yourselves. But luckily, Michael Bonds, uh, Nubian Pharaoh took your place and invited them all out along with um, FS Claire and Charles, you know. But it's been it's been a very hard, tough journey without you, Michael Bonds, coming through to bond them out. Um, because today was one of those blue moon days to where we did have, you know, some people to come through and, and rescue. But other than that, Michael Bonds, they've been locked up. They've been climbing really bad. They've been locked up. Okay. Christopher says paying 100% got us into this mess in the first place. Oh. Oh. Ah. Okay. Now I see where y'all coming from, though. I'm seeing where y'all coming from, though. Right? When y'all are like, nah, she still got to contribute. I understand it a little bit better now because what y'all are saying is, look. Our grandfathers, our great grandfathers, hell, some of our fathers even tried to go down that road and look how it turned out for them. So, no, we're never going to repeat history like that. So, hey, that's valid. <laughs> Two Love Q says, I said what I said in his Nene Leak voice. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. <sighs> anyway, y'all, y'all climbing way too bad. I thought I would come on here and let y'all know these, these females are big mad at y'all for exploring different options and, you know, holding them accountable and holding them to a standard. And this is what we're dealing with. You know, even the foreign women are coming over here to shame y'all. So, Dusty says, was she the inspiration for Jack in the Box? Damn, Dusty! Put user in time out for 10 minutes. Sick of your shit, Dusty. Out of control. I can't take it no more, y'all. Look, look, we're done. We're done. Demi says it doesn't take 40 hours a week to keep a house clean. <laughs> It doesn't take y'all plan too much. Hold on, drizzle, drizzle. God dog. Them I says it doesn't take forty hours a week to keep a house clean. Tech guy here. I'll just outsource you. I'll pay less with less headache. <laughs> y'all plan too much, man. Look, y'all. That's crazy. Shaw Nelson says. Uh, for real, the 100 or the 50 don't matter when it comes to divorce because the courts are either going to say that she's not able to sustain without you or she held down half and deserved half. Either way, it ends up 50-50. Okay, y'all put me up on game. Y'all really put me up on game. Y'all making very valid points. Okay, I, I guess I can see where y'all coming from. Thank you, Sean Nelson. Prodigal Son says the Proverbs 31 woman also works to make money, a.k.a. contribute. Look it up. Okay. So is that why I feel how I feel, you all? Is this the way that God designed it to be? Is this the way that the universe and nature designed it to be? Because I do feel like as a woman, I should, I should be contributing in ways outside of just cooking and cleaning and like that's basic shit that i would do as a grown person anyway you know and it's not to say that i don't believe that the man should be the provider like i do feel like the man should be the provider you all should be the sole provider i should be able to rely on my man to take care of the bulk, if not all, of what needs to be taken care of. But it's still a piece of me that's just like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta do something. You know, I don't want to just always 
hit up my man and do everything for me, especially when it comes to like little petty shit that I like, like makeup and hair and my nails and clothes. Like I'm not hitting my, my husband up to do that for me. I'm just not, even though I can. Because I have the type of man that, like like I'm saying, I have the traditional man. Like That's how he's brought up. It's a piece of me, though, that I just don't feel entirely right with that. I don't know. Let me see. Okay. I think I'm caught up now, y'all. It's a part of being to help me? Okay. Uh, which is probably why these men started calling cap on this woman in this video. Like, nah, those women over there, they work too. And they're still submissive. So, I don't know, y'all. I think at this point, a lot of these women are just doing their damnness to shame y'all and make y'all just tolerate whatever they demand you to do. You know what I mean? Thank you, John Till. It says, uh, Roomba keeps my floors clean. <laughs> no holes needed. Roomba, is that the little um machine that just goes around the room collecting shit? John T, shut your ass up. Y'all, I, I, I've had enough for today. I appreciate y'all for pulling up. This is very impromptu. But yeah, yeah, it, it's time for a timeout. Indefinitely. You know, I may see y'all tomorrow and, and talk about the whole 4B movement. But yeah, I, I don't know if I can take it. I don't, I don't know. I think I'm done. I think I, I said enough. I've, I've had enough. Um, yeah. Uh, y'all like the video. Share the video and subscribe. I'm going to see y'all again tomorrow. Y'all pull back up tomorrow <clears throat> at around 11. It'll be around the same time. You know, 11 uh, a.m. Central. And we're going to have another drizzle, drizzle, dope discussion about the whole 4B movement because that's, that's trash too. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. I'm done. We are now at the finish line. We're done. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Do you agree with this woman in the video? Do you disagree? Uh, is she capping? Is she full of shit? Let me know. Is she dropping gems and jewels? You know, let me know. Let me know. Are you a man that, that, that believes in 50, 50? Do you believe in 100% and then zero for the woman? Do you believe in 80, 20? Let me know, you all. Do you want to be by your damn self? We appreciate all different perspectives, all different feedback. But I need to let y'all know a lot of these females are mad because y'all are requiring women to step their game up and y'all leaving them behind. And they're trying to ridicule y'all and shame y'all from doing so. Let me know y'all thoughts, okay? I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. Pull back up. Much love and peace in my crown heads. And thank you so much, um, Nubian Pharaoh. Thank you so much, FS Claire. Thank you so much, uh, Charles. I appreciate y'all so very, very much uh, for your contributions. But I take none of you all for granted because none of you all have to give me anything, okay? Not even your time. Not even your like. But you better like my damn video, okay? Not even your subscriptions. But I really got to say thank you to the people who do uh, contribute monetarily because that is your hard-earned money that you do not have to give, okay? So thank you, and I appreciate you all. Uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow, though. Um, and again, like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Much love and peace to my crown heads. Drizzle, drizzle.